Fuck chaps, the world is starting to wake up. And I need to I need to actually hit the record button. I'm uh I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous I'm out in public recording on my cell phone. And uh and I feel super fucking weird doing it. <laughs> I feel super fucking weird. But uh, anyways, good morning chaps. Oh hi. Good morning. I like your motorcycle. It's really loud. Hmm. Roads. Mm, roads are a thing. I wonder how the audio is turning out. I should probably stop speaking in whispers. Well, good morning, chaps. Uh, Wolfgore here. And I just wanted to uh, do something a little different today. Get out of my comfort zone, as I've been trying to do lately, and record a video for you guys out in the, uh, the wide blue yonder, out in the big old world. And it is early, early in the morning. It's about 5 a.m. right now. And uh, I wanted to get up early before the world was fully awake so I could uh, come out here and record uninterrupted. So, uh, what, did, what am I here to show you guys today? What's, what's the point of this video other than just to, uh, you know, share with you the glorious length of my beard as it comes in and some better lighting than my shitty little studio? Um, well, as some of you know, if you hang out on stream and, you know, pay attention to all the things I say or you've been following the channel for, you know, the past year now. Um, my last job was a restaurant, which is actually behind me. It is in this sort of strip mall looking place and we're going to walk around and take a look at that. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. So I'm walking over, and I think, what, should I turn the camera around? Well, I can always end this and get multiple shots. That's the cool thing I'm trying to teach myself about recording right now, is you can, uh, you know, you can turn off the camera, turn it back on 15 seconds later, and then get the shots and say the things that you're thinking of. But it's hard, it's, it's difficult. Ooh, hi, say hello to my vape. I brought that on my walk. week um, yeah I walked over here it's like a five minute walk from my apartment it's it feels like less than a mile um, so this is the restaurant patio behind me uh, those are the doors those were the doors to the patio the restaurant was called Miller's Junction and it served just a classic American cuisine four and a half stars we were pretty legit I worked in the kitchen if we'd had a better location and a better property owner that wasn't trying to uh, murder the restaurant with extremely expensive rent, <clears throat> fuck that guy, um, then I would have worked my way up to waiter, but I did not do that before the end. Um, walking backwards is hard. Um, yeah, but I worked in the kitchen. I worked as a prep cook is pretty low rank in the kitchen if you uh, work in a kitchen or ever have um, but I was learning to line cook a little bit um, and I definitely would have been doing that had the restaurant been doing you know better and been able to to afford the hours for the employees but you know when you're getting charged eight thousand dollars a month for rent and you're in a struggling restaurant it's just it's not a recipe for success that's just the case. So this was the entrance. Let me get a little further out so you can kind of uh, see. There was our restaurant sign. And uh, that's where the swamp coolers were back right there. And me and the kitchen guys would sit back there and smoke cigarettes and drink coffee and talk shit about the waiters. <laughs> no, we'd say a lot of nice stuff too, but yeah. Kitchen crew and waiters don't always uh don't always hang out. They don't always mix. They're like oil and water. They're like two separate entities. Anyways, that was the employee entrance right there into the kitchens. And I'm just gonna switch the camera around and get some different shots for you guys and uh, keep keep talking. Ah, here we go. Getting a different shot for you guys. And I actually put my vape in my pocket so that. I can hold the phone with two hands and it won't be bouncing all over the place while I walk, in theory. So yeah, that's uh, 
that's the employee entrance right there. That was a massage place next door, right over here. Oh, yeah, that's a massage place. There's the parking lot where we would park. There's a gym down there. Then you got massage place. There was the employee entrance. That's where we used to go to smoke. Restaurant. We used to say Miller's Junction up there all big. And, uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll try and come back here during the day and get a shot of inside, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. These are the blue bicycles. They're all over. And they were a pokey stop on Pokemon Go from the start, which was really, really nice because I could sit in the kitchen and play Pokemon Go and uh, spin my spin my blue wheels every five minutes or so, whatever it was. That was really fun. And this is the patio over here. Those were the back doors. And we had, you know, restaurant style seating out here before all over. And uh, there was a gate up to separate us from the massage place. And uh, there was our sign. Miller's Junction Bistro. Four and a half stars, really sucks. Really sucks, four and a half stars. There's the handicap elevator. I know, fancy, right? And you know what? It's a gym over here. There's this staircase over here and I've never gone up here before. I feel weird, but you know, it's like five in the morning and it's just a staircase, so why don't we go up here and answer that question that I was always wondering, what's up those stairs? It's better than I could have ever imagined. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the view. Oh, guys, I'm going to vape up here. This is going to be lit. Yeah, I did that. And nothing bad happened. Oh my gosh, what's the deal with anxiety anyways? Why am I talking so quietly? What's the problem with anxiety anyways? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like you know what I'm saying. I think I have a good voice, but I need to project. And it's hard when you have anxiety to project. Because sometimes, on some level, you don't want to be heard. Because then people will pay attention to you. And it will trigger your anxiety. Wisdom. <laughs> oh no, no. Nothing I ever say ever is wise and you should not listen to it. My life is a hot fucking mess. And that was our fountain, which apparently was part of the reason why we were paying $8,000 a month for rent for a fucking restaurant. And uh, it, it never really worked. It was always dry. Yep. Yeah, so fuck that guy. Fuck that guy who puts up his giant fucking sign right there. I won't show it. I won't show his name. I won't give him free advertisement on my YouTube channel, but fuck that guy. That fucker would not take down that sign. Fuck that sign and fuck that guy. That freaking dick. That restaurant was awesome. So some of my favorite memories at the restaurant were uh, after work. Me and the kitchen guys, the head chef, and some of the cool waiters would hang out and, uh, shh, I'm talking. I'm a crazy man up here with my cell phone talking. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. Not really, not really. There was a stabbing here recently, so too soon. <laughs> Some of you get that. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, fuck, life is hard. Life is hard and complicated. Yeah, so some of my favorite memories in the restaurant were of hanging out after work, drinking at the bar. Because we'd get all these taps, right? Because we were a nice restaurant, you know, four and a half stars. We had a lot of beers on tap. But the thing is, is that business just wasn't there. It really sucked. As you can see, it's kind of a ghost town out here right now. The economy sucks right now, in case you missed that memo sometime over the past eight or nine years. Not, not doing so hot. Um, 
So we'd have all this beer and we just had to get rid of it a lot of the time because people just weren't buying it. So we would just sit around drinking beers together and fucking shooting the shit and telling stories. I really wish I would take the time to uh, style my mustache out of my freaking mouth before I record like this because the shadow just looks so funny and it's bugging me. But if I could just get it like all the way up with wax, there wouldn't be a problem. But the thing is the wax is back at my apartment and there's no fucking way in hell I'm going back there waxing my mustache and then coming out to record more. That's, you know, that's an issue to work on next time, not tonight. Um, but yeah, my mustache is driving me crazy right now. Um, so, yeah, good times here, really good times. It makes me really sad that this place closed. Made a lot of good friends there, a lot of good friends there, a lot of good people. I really loved everybody there. Didn't necessarily get along with everybody. You know how it is, you know. Not everybody mixes, but um, yeah, they were all good people. It was a good place. And they, you know, they gave me a job after I lost my career job, which sucked. And that was like the worst fucking time of my life, just being totally aimless. Right when I started this channel, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck, that was a rough time when I lost my uh, my career job. But that's, that's a topic for another video. I don't, I don't really want to get into that right now, you know? It, it's, a, it's a long story. And if y'all want to see a video of my explanation of what actually happened, let me know in the comments below. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Um, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Not really. I think that's, uh, I think that's about everything I wanted to go over. I just wanted to show you guys this place. And, uh, I'm gonna go find a sick shot for my outro because I'm having fun. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey dude. Sorry. Didn't know you were out here. So, uh, That's my roommate. I'm recording because I'm crazy. <laughs> Yo. Where'd you go? Oh, I went outside. I'm, re I'm recording for a YouTube video. Oh. And I wanted to do it at sunset. Sorry to wake you up, bro. I needed water. Sleep well. You're gonna be famous tomorrow. There's my baby. Oh, she's sleeping, but not for long. Oh no, chaps, it just occurred to me. I have filmed about half of this in vertical mode. I sincerely apologize. I'm gonna try and stabilize this with both hands. Oh, it occurred to me while I was coming over to this beautiful, beautiful spot that you can see behind me. This spot is known affectionately to my group of friends as the court. And this is an area where uh, certain individuals of Auburn, California come to smoke cannabis. <laughs> I, uh, the first time I smoked was here. And uh, yeah, that was a good time. That was a good time. 
Um, boy, I really wish the camera did justice to the view that you can see up here. You can see for miles and you can see a river off in the distance and there's all sorts of uh, beautiful shots around here. You can see all the way to Folsom Lake from the Auburn foothills and it's fucking beautiful. Um, and I'll try to showcase that more in, uh, in upcoming videos. Well, I'm really glad to be uh, finally utilizing this masterful little device in my pocket because for too long I've just been insisting on, you know, recording in my little recording studio that I built. And that's great for doing like let's plays and live streaming, obviously. But, you know, I want to I wanna do this kind of stuff with you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm really glad to be using my phone to record. Pretty proud of myself. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this video turns out. Urgh, but I was in fucking vertical mode for like half of it, so it's going to be all janky and shitty, but that's okay. You know, this is, this is a new thing I'm doing. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. <laughs> so that's what's going on around me. We're all clear of space, and that is because of the power lines going through here. So all the uh, trees, get off me, mosquito. So all the trees have been cleared out, so you get a nice fucking clean clean Northern Californian view up here. Ah, <sighs> smells like money. Well, chaps, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a nice little sneak peek into my life. And uh, if you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll show you some more of Auburn and just uh, let you know a little bit more about my past and me as a person, blah, blah, fucking bugs. Fucking bugs are attacking me. I fucking hate nature. That's not true. I love nature. It's a very weird, non-symbiotic relationship with me and nature. Like, I love it to death, but God, it pisses me off. Like, ugh, I don't, I don't like it. Ugh, I don't like it a lot of the time. I like, I like my man cave. It's comfortable in there and clean, and there's no bugs that I know of. Oh. Alrighty, chaps. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to support more of this content in the future and the exciting new content that we have on the horizon that I'm still keeping under my top hat. Um, I do have a Patreon account, so you can support me there. Links uh, in my banner description up here. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I think I might have Facebook up there. I got all the social medias going on for the, for the Wolf Gore thing. So, uh, you know, if you're into that stuff, feel free to follow me on those. Yeah, yeah, I said them all, right? Yeah, yeah. And I will see you chaps in the next video.